Hi, it's Doc Progeny here, and today I'm going to be importing some Cyrillic pedigrees into Progeny Clinical, and I'm then going to do some work to display the data that's imported along with those Cyrillic pedigrees. I'm using the PC client version, I'm using Progeny 10.0.1.0. Okay, I'm going to start off on the main screen, I'm on the pedigrees tab, I've clicked on the Progeny folder, I'm then going to go up to the pedigrees menu, left clicking I'm then going to go down and import some fan files and then I'm simply going to go to the folder where I've saved those fan files you can have one or many fan files in that folder in my case I've got a single fan file and what I've done is I've started with a completely blank database today so that I can show you what Progeny will do the first time you import some fan files so I'm going to click OK and you'll see what Progeny is doing here is not only is it importing the pedigree structure, it's also creating all of these fields with the associated data that comes in from Cyrillic. Okay, so you'll see here, I click on the pedigree, open it up, here is your Cyrillic pedigree. Now at the moment it won't look exactly the same as you had it in Cyrillic before, that's because we're not viewing the data. So if I click on any individual in this pedigree, say this individual here for example, It'll open up, it's a completely new database, so it's completely blank, no tabs, no data showing at all. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to left click on the form design, I'm simply going to rename this tab Cyrillic Information, like so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to left click on the fields tab up the top here and this will show me all the fields that are in Progeny. Now the fields and information that I just imported from Cyrillic is here in this import folder. I'm going to just lasso the left hand, left click and just drag these into position like so. I'm going to do the same with the others, just do that on this side over here. And you'll see as I've done that for this individual there's not a lot of data showing, but you can see individual number 10 is showing. You'll also see this genetic status field here. This is a primary location for most of the sort of the icon information you have in Progeny. And then you've got things like surname and forename, date of birth and date of death are also here as well. So I'm just going to save that format. I'm just going to simply call this Cyrillic, like so. And then I'm just going to exit out of here. Now I want to know kind of, I just want to have a look at what's actually in this pedigree. One quick way of doing that is actually just to create a spreadsheet of that pedigree. So I click the spreadsheet button. I'm just going to choose any identifier. In this case, global ID is a simple one. And then what I'm just going to do is just select everything in the import fields folder, left click, keep the button held down, and I'm just going to drag and drop it here. And I'm going to run that. And you'll see straight away, there's some basic information showing here under additional info. There's some date of birth, some dates of deaths. And as I come across, you'll see here, that here's the numeric ID. There's one single surname in the database. There's not a lot of information. But there is some affected, state, affected uh, information here under genetic status. So first thing we can do is click on the icons button here. And what I'm going to do is show at least the first name, forename, surname, and in this case I'm going to choose the date of birth as well. I'm just going to reformat this slightly so that forename and surname show next to each other and date of birth shows just underneath that. So I'm going to click apply. It's going to prompt me to save this format. So I'll simply save that as Cyrillic, like so, and save. And you'll see instantly now that we're getting the phone name, surname showing, date of birth, where it's present. I'm just going to click properties. I don't, I'm not a big fan of showing the subtext legend, so I'm just going to remove that. So you can see quite quickly you've got some information showing on the pedigree. I'd also like to show those affected individuals as solid black. So I'm going to pull over genetic status here, left click in this area here to select the icon, simply type in affected like so. I'll do that twice so it gets a simpler legend. I'm then going to save that as a format again. I'm just going to call that something simple like Cyrillic of course. That's perfect.
sound effect. And you'll see instantly, a second I save it, those individuals go black. Now, obviously, this is just a single Cyrillic pedigree. If you've got more complexity, you can, I know, for example, genetic states. I'm going to pull a couple of, a few of these across. Quite often, you'll get things like, well, actually, quadrant Q1, Q2, Q1, Q2, and so forth. And then it's sim quite simple to set these up. Again, just the left black top right black top for doubles sort of one like this over and above like that again save the format I'm just going to save it as the same and that's great so now obviously if I had more complexity in here those icons would be showing as well so you've gone straight away from importing your Cyrillic pedigree to be able to show some icons so some, show some subtext uh, one of the last things that's worth having a look at for the pedigree, let's run another spreadsheet, is to have a look at the date of birth. Because one of the things that Cyrillic doesn't do very well is the dates of birth. It's stored as text. That means that people can pretty much type in whatever they like. Actually, this, ped this pedigree looks pretty clean. Uh, so I could probably go to the fields and just change that from text to date and that will probably show fine. For other sort of uh, fam files, you'll probably find there's things like oh, someone's written about 1925 and, or something like that. And it's a complete mess. And really what you have to do is go through and clean it up, perhaps copy it into an additional field. Um, a bit of a pain, but, you know, it's something that ca can and really should be done if you're going to get maximum value out of, it, out of your data. So I just want to go now to the date of birth field. From Cyrillic, I'm actually going to right click on that and edit the field. I'm simply going to switch it from text to date, like so. Click change. Now, if you're doing this, be careful because obviously you can really mess things up. Uh, a, good, a good thing to do is to take a copy of your database before you do this, a backup, for example. Okay, so go by going back to the pedigree. Let's have a see if that's looking. And that looks fine. You'll actually see it's reformatted it into the European format in this case. So it's gone from how it looked in Cyrillic to how it kind of should look. So that's a pretty quick overview of how things are in Progeny. Got any questions? Drop me a line. I'm happy to answer. Otherwise, bye for now.